Well, I'm Hiram Joseph. I'm a boy from Springbok in the Northern Cape. I moved to Friedenberg when I, when I was in my teenage years and I schooled there, high school. I studied further in, in Newcastle, Northern Natal. January 2005, I had a diving accident in a small town called Paternoster on the West Coast, which left me paralyzed from the neck down. And um, it's now almost 70, 17 years later. Everybody has challenges in life. First of all, I, I don't have any formal training. I find that uh, I can channel a lot of uh, energy, positive energy uh, into my art. One of the most important things that uh, comes to mind and it inspires me to, or I draw, draw inspiration from it, is when uh, I do a piece uh, for someone, a commission, and to see the end result, uh, being received in a, in, a, in a positive fashion, you know, where the client is so happy to have that piece on their wall. Uh, that is the ultimate price for me. I use a water-soluble oil paint, quite expensive paint, imported paint, not your normal oil paint, and then I use um, the normal canvas. Uh, I find it easy to work on box canvas, and, uh, and the benefit to that is that uh, your client don't have to frame it. A funny, weird, strange way of painting, I, I go crazy. I put a brush in my mouth, my strokes are sometimes uh, from left to right, because uh, that I think that, that uh, defines who I, who I am. Yes, the majority of my works uh, uh, reflects positiveness, and that's how I try and live by, is to prove to people that there's light at the end of the tunnel, and also in the colors that I use. Most of my commissions will be vibrant colors, meaning that, uh, that nothing is dull and bleak and all that. In the beginning, uh, when I started painting, uh, I focused mostly on seascapes. And the reason being, I'm coming from the West Coast, so uh, you, can, you can picture this, that you, you see all these nice fishermen villages every day, the, the, the white houses, and, uh, and, and that, in the beginning, I incorporated that into paintings. And only at the latter stage did I go over to landscapes and. Recently, I've, 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 I've gone over to, to doing portraits, which is a very difficult medium to do, um, but I think I'm getting there. I've matured in the, in the last couple of years. I think the focus point from here onwards is, is to incorporate a lot of Africanism into my art. I've had so many callbacks from clients, you know, and uh, maybe he or she uh, invested in two paintings, and then three years later, you get a call out of the blue. Hey, do you remember me? I'm um, Martin, I'm from, from Lusiki Siki. Uh, you did a painting for me a couple of years ago. I would like you to do uh, my dog, uh, Jeffrey, for me. If I, if, I, if I look at that, where my pieces are hanging all over the world, uh, it, it, it's been rewarding, and I think I can still develop and uh, maybe take the global stage by storm. And uh, I live by, uh, a philosophy nowadays that uh, I make every second count every day and if, if, if you can make a, a difference in one person's life out of seven billion people be it that somebody by inspiring somebody to buy a piece of art from you to hang on a wall and I think then your journey of making a difference has started already.